Welcome to the RMS Pump Tools Wellhead Penetrator System Training Guide. Over the next 8 minutes, this video will explain the installation procedure for a standard single mandrel wellhead penetrator system. Use this video, together with the installation instructions, to familiarize yourself with the installation procedure of this product. You will then be asked to take a short test consisting of 10 questions with multiple choice answers. Upon successful completion, you will be issued with an RMS Pump Tool Certificate. Feel free to take notes throughout the video to aid you during the test. Installing the Wellhead Connector System The installation procedure comprises three main stages. Fitting the Wellhead Penetrator into the tubing hanger, landing of the tubing head adapter, and finally, fitting the surface connector. Before starting, you should familiarize yourself with the components. Each part is numbered according to the datasheet, and the same numbers are also referenced throughout the installation instructions. Always ensure you are wearing the appropriate personal protective equipment, PPE, for the environment in which you are working. Installation Preparation once the tubing hanger has been lowered to a convenient working height, carefully unpack the wellhead penetrator from its box or drum, but do not remove any equipment from the protective wrapping until it is ready to be installed. When handling any RMS pump tools penetrator, it is paramount that the utmost care is taken. The moulded cable should be supported at all times. The cable should also be carefully inspected, making sure there is no damage to the outer armour or sheathing. Ensure the components are not subject to mechanical impact. Any damage to the outer body could affect the sealing surfaces and compromise the performance of the system. It is important to check the fit of the lock ring on the penetrator prior to installation. It is also important to check that the O-rings and backup rings are fitted and in good condition before smearing silicon grease around the grooves. Confirm that the hanger bore is also clean and in good condition, then smear silicon grease liberally around the internal diameter of the bore. Always ensure that clean gloves are worn, as any dirt allowed to enter the seal grooves will have a detrimental effect on performance. Fitting the wellhead penetrator into the tubing hanger. The packaging should now be carefully removed from the wellhead penetrator body. However, the protective cap should remain fitted at all times to prevent the ingress of moisture or dirt. Bottom feed the wellhead penetrator upwards through the tubing hanger bore and loosely secure with the lock ring. Ensure that the C-spanner slot on the lower shoulder of the wellhead penetrator is facing outermost from the production tubing. This will ensure correct orientation of the surface connector. The wellhead penetrator has been designed for easy installation. It is bottom fed into the hanger and this makes it a simple job to temporarily fit the penetrator, cut the cable to length and remove the penetrator. The cable can then be spliced horizontally onto the main cable run. For this process, the penetrator body should be repackaged in the protective wrapping to prevent any damage to the elastomer seals. Refit the wellhead penetrator into the tubing hanger and feed the lock ring over and secure. Ensure that the C-spanner slot on the lower shoulder of the wellhead penetrator is facing outermost from the production tubing. With the wellhead penetrator correctly orientated, tighten the lock ring with the C-spanner. Another C-spanner should be used to prevent the wellhead penetrator from rotating. The penetrator is now ready for the tubing head adapter to be landed. Landing of the tubing head adapter before the tubing head adapter is landed, confirm that the seal surfaces within are clean and in good condition. 
smear silicon grease liberally around the internal diameter of the bore. The lowering of the tubing head adapter should be supervised to prevent any potential damage. Particular attention should be paid to the threads and elastomer seals on the wellhead penetrator body. Allow the wellhead manufacturer to assemble the wellhead and carry out a bonnet cavity pressure test. This test will, among other things, verify that the wellhead penetrator seals are functioning correctly. For this procedure, the debris cap should be removed and replaced with a pressure test cap. Fitting the surface connector in order to fit the surface connector, remove the protective cap from the wellhead penetrator and confirm that the O-ring seal in the nose of the penetrator is fitted and in good condition. You must also ensure that the contact threads on both the wellhead penetrator and surface connector are clean and dry. To assist the mating of the rubber cones in the connector, the use of the supplied white electrical compound is recommended. Whilst this lubricant does not prevent good electrical contact, be sure to only use it sparingly. Please note this lubricant does not displace water. If moisture is evident, it must be wiped away prior to applying the grease. If a security guard has been ordered, slide this over the surface connector, holes first and temporarily secure to the cable. Align the keyway in the surface connector with the key in the wellhead penetrator and push both halves together until the fix ring engages with the thread on the wellhead penetrator. Using the C-spanner, tighten the fix ring until the lower face aligns with the top of the spot face. The fix ring should be locked into position to prevent inadvertent removal. To do this, tighten an M4 socket head cap screw into the fix ring and ensure that the screw head is flush with the outer diameter. If a stop is reached, then remove and fit in an adjacent hole. Slide the metal security guard back over the fix ring and fit the padlock through the two holes and into the slot machined in the surface connector body. Operation and Redress during operation, the surface cable should be properly secured. Do not stand on the cable or surface connector. Please note the design ratings of the penetrator system should not be exceeded. If the pin or socket areas do become contaminated, they must be cleaned. Use a little solvent degreaser and a clean lint-free cloth or cotton swab always allow to dry before mating. In the event any of the elastomer seals have been damaged, they must be replaced with the spares provided. To aid fitting of the backup rings, slightly contract the ring relative to the groove diameter. In the event the groove is internal, then the backup rings should be slightly expanded. To redress, locate the spare seal pack and remove the previous o-rings and backup rings. Ensure the grooves are clean and dry before fitting any new seals. Silicon grease can also be used to aid the fitting of both the o-rings and backup rings. This concludes the RMS Pump Tools Training Guide. A short test will now follow.